Dear students, welcome to my online class. I am Dick Balfishan, lecturer of English Pandavan Canton Public School and College. Students, today uh, I am going to take a class on uh, passage narration. Mm, I have already given you the four, maybe four or uh, five classes on the rules of uh, narration. And uh, if you already have learned this door, so, uh, already have was this class, I think you will understand. When we want to change a uh, passage narration from direct into indirect, uh, uh, speech from direct into indirect form, we need to consider, we need to uh, uh, taking our accounts, we need to uh, work on certain things. For example, let us see, first of all, if we want to uh, change the speech, we need to find out the hand in the chair, uh, sorry, the speaker and the listener of the speech. Who is the speaker and who is the listener of the speech here? You, you see, you can see the rule number one. Then we have to find out, try to understand what types of sentences and tenses have been used here. The second thing is that we have to understand what type of sentences uh, there are in the speech and what changes have been used there. Because you know, from when we change the speech from direct to indirect form, we need to change the changes in, in most cases. And we uh, also need to find out what types of sentences used here, because we know that all of there are five types of sentences in English grammar, but uh, when we change a uh, speech from direct to indirect form, we change all different types of five types of sentence into a set of sentence. So uh, it's very important to understand what types of uh, uh, sentences have been used here or are there in the speech. Then, thirdly, try to understand how to interpret the reporting verbs. The reporting verbs changes into 10 to 12 uh, different types according to the relation between the speaker and the listener. So it's very important to uh, understand, uh, uh, to uh, try to understand how to interpret the tenses. For example, if the relation between, uh, if the speaker is a teacher and the listener is a student, they said, he said, the, the teacher said to the student, uh, read your textbook regularly. Here said, the uh, reporting verb say would be uh, in indirect narration, uh, advised. And uh, the it would be like the teacher advised the student to uh, uh, read the text regularly like it. So, depending on the relation of the speaker and the listener, the reporting verb changes into 10 to 12 different texts. I think you are listening. And try to understand how to interpret the reporting verbs and how to change the person of the reported speech. And it's very important. In the reported speech, uh, as according to the rule, we know that if the subject of the reported speech is first person, it changes into, uh, uh, changes according to the subject of the reporting verb uh, when you change the speech from uh, direct to indirect form. Uh, and when the uh, uh, subject of the reported speech is second person, it changes according to the object of the reporting verb. And if the uh, subject of the reported speech is a third person, it doesn't change. Okay, so I think we know all these things, and in our classes we have discussed all these things in uh, my prior classes. So I think you'll understand. Now let's see, according to this, all these rules, now let's see how to change a, a small speech here. I've written here on the whiteboard. You see, let's say it's a very uh, small. Mm, uh, some lines from the from, uh, uh, famous story luncheon we already read here in our classes. Follow my example, she said, as we shook hands and never eat more than one thing for luncheon. You see, this is in fact one sentence. Follow my example and never eat more than one thing for luncheon. So we have to know that according to rule that if the reporting bar is at the end of the reported speech, we have to bring it begin when we change it from day to day. Number one. And you see, follow my example and never 
eat more than one thing for lunch. And this is, if we try to understand what type of sentence it is to understand, we know that it is an imperative sentence. So, uh, how do you change the imperative sentence uh, when we change from the infinitive to the recognoid? We will apply this when we, we work on this. And here you see uh, the tense is present in the definite tense. It's also present in the definite tense. In sentence number two, I will do better than that. Is it tense is future in definite tense and it is an assertive, an assertive sentence. And I would eat nothing for dinner tonight. Sorry, it would be I will eat nothing. I will eat. I will eat nothing for dinner tonight. You see. So here the last line humanist, she cried gaily, jumping into a train. When there is any participle phrase with the repeating verb, we need to bring it at the beginning of the sentence when we change it from the to the number one. And if there is a single word within the report in inverted commas, we need to uh, make it in, uh, a full sentence. We need to, uh, to write it in a full sentence. Remember, it's a, in the rules of association. So, uh, now we know uh, what types of sentences are here, or who are the persons here, what types of, uh, what tenses are used here, all we know, and we also know about the, uh, some rules that uh, the reporting bar is at the end of the reporting speech, you have to bring it to the beginning, if there is any uh, 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 participant phrase with the reporting verb, we have to bring it at the beginning of the sentence, all this. So now, let's see, so you see this is first one is the imperative sentence, we know that the imperative sentence, uh, how to change the imperative sentence from the written to the This is uh, according to the rule. So, the reporting bar we have uh, brought here at the beginning. She said, uh, as we shook hands. So, she said would be advised because she's advising me. As we shook hands, as we shook hands, she advised me. Since it is an imperative sentence, we have used here two between the reported speech and the reporting verb. We have omitted the uh, inverted commas and according to the rule, we have used two between the reporting verb and the reported speech. So, as a shook hands, she advised me to follow her example and never to eat more than one thing for lunch. Now you see, I will do better than that. I will do better. The reporting bar is there at the, at the end of the sentence. I wrote it beginning of the sentence. The beginning of the sentence. I reported that I will do better than that. Would have changed into would future tense and added that if a speaker speaks two sentences together or three sentences together. We need to use added that again said that further said that like after writing the first sentence. So according to the rule, I've written here and added that I would eat nothing for dinner that night. Tonight changes into that night. There is a list of words and phrases that changes. For example, now would be then here will be there uh, in the uh, in the last class yesterday. I told you to learn it from the textbook. So that night, you see, when there is present participle phrase, it will come at the beginning of the sentence, jumping into a cab. Then jumping into a cab, she cried gaily. That I was a human. Present definite tense had changed into past indications. So this uh, uh, within the inverted commas, if there is only a word, we need to change it into a full sentence, right in a form of full sentence. This is the rule of. Uh, so according to the rule, jumping into a cab, she cried gaily that I was a humanist. Or we can write 
jump into a cab, she cried gaily and called me a humorist, like that. So dear students, uh, from the discussion, you can uh, clearly see that uh, if you have learned the stories in my, uh, that I discussed in my classes, you can easily uh, change a speech from direct to indirect one. So uh, please note this. If you want to uh, change any speech from direct to indirect, first of all, try to find out all this and try to remember all the tools that uh, we discussed in my earlier classes. So, for your further understanding, I would like to suggest you those who understand a bit better, please work on the questions of probability, and those who understand a bit less, please practice from pages. 139 to 140, uh, 142 of your textbook. So students, I am at the end of my class. Uh, thank you very much for watching this class with attention. I hope you will utilize this class. Well, thank you again. Allah bless.